But first, we begin with breaking news on the bombing at a Beaumont church. The Beaumont Police Department set to hold a joint press conference with the FBI ATF to outline the latest developments on this explosive device detonated at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church off Delaware on the campus of All Saints Episcopal School. Now we know that no one was hurt in that explosion. The students were released for the day from the schools back to their parents today. It is in fact the second device discovered or detonated in exactly two weeks. Now one of those near Starbucks on Dowland Road in Beaumont and of course this explosion at St. Stephen's. As you can see, the podium right now off Delaware is empty. We have 12 News reporters at that press conference. This is across the street from the church on Delaware. In just a few minutes, we will come back and listen in on the events of that press conference. Earlier today, it was the bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of Texas who said a package exploded outside that church. We want St. Stephen's Episcopal. He confirmed that because at first it's been reported just some suspicious package. Mm -hmm. Now we know that in fact it was a bomb. 12 News reporter Juan Rodriguez is there with more information. Juan. Kevin, Erica, as you can see right behind me, the area is still, law enforcement are still out here trying to investigate what is going on. But this is so far what we have already confirmed. The ninth bishop of Texas says a package exploded outside St. Stephen's Episcopal Church, according to the Episcopal Diocese of Texas. When church members arrived to the house of worship this morning, they found blown out windows holes in the walls and traces of a detonated package at an office entrance. Those on scene called at around 10 45 this morning. That's when they notified the police. Parents were notified to come to All Saints School. That's the nearby school right behind the building to pick up their children. 12 News did speak to one of those parents who was leaving with their children from campus. Now the FBI and the ATF along with Beaumont Police and Fire Rescue are still currently investigating the situation. No injuries have been reported. The church and school will remain closed until further notice. Now this is still a developing story. Make sure to stay with us on air online. Tonight at 6 o'clock you'll hear from a second grader who explains what happened when they were let go from school. Live in Beaumont, Juan Rodriguez, 12 News. Thank you so much, Juan. Now we head back out to where the press conference is now starting. That's right. Haley Morrow now speaking with the Beaumont Police Department. Let's listen in. And to the chief's right is Special Agent Orlan Streams. That's O-R-L-A-N-S-T-R-E-A-M-S -E from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And he's also joined by Connor Hagan, also from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is a preliminary press conference uh, and we will limit questions at the end. So thank you all for being here. And right now I'm going to turn it over to Chief Jim Singletary from the Beaumont Police Department. Thank you all for being here. At approximately 918 this morning, officers from the Beaumont Police Department were dispatched to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church, 4090 Delaware, in reference to a criminal mischief call. Upon arrival, our officers observed what appeared to be a package that had been previously detonated, causing minor damage to the building. As you can see, we have this is a joint investigation with the Beaumont Police Department, the ATF, and the FBI. And you can see behind us that we have utilizing we are utilizing a large amount of resources to try to get on this as quickly as possible. We know that you have many, many questions, but there are so many things that we cannot talk about right now, even though we're trying to be as transparent as possible. We, we will not answer questions concerning the suspect, any suspects, any components, any intended victims, or any motives, or any relationship to any other devices or previous devices. Obviously, something like this causes a lot of alarm in our community, and we're very much aware of that. What we want to do is encourage uh, our citizens to call, call us if you see anything suspicious. You know, see, see something, say something is, is, is very appropriate in this, uh, in, in, in this situation. 
we have a uh, uh, we've had many calls already, and uh, and uh, so far at this time we have not had we have not had any calls that generated any kind of interest in ours, anything that we're concerned about. So that uh, we want you to be uh, vigilant, and we want you to uh, be careful and do not handle anything uh, suspicious. Make, make sure that you call it. If you have something that relates, to, if you see a package, please call 911 if you see a suspicious package. If you have something uh, that relates to this incident, please call us at, uh, at uh, the Department of uh, Bowman Police Department of the FBI or ATF. We will answer some questions at this point. Uh, Go ahead. The uh, only thing we're going to say is it's minor damage. Yeah. We've had several reports of that, and anything else, uh, any, any beyond that, we're not going to discuss. Uh, but, but there were uh, reports of a citizen. Some citizens did hear that. We are not going to comment on anything involving a suspect or suspects. We understand that the, the church put out some information and we're not going to comment on that. Absolutely. Uh, we understand that. Uh, what we're trying to the reason we're here, we're here. We can't give you a lot of information, uh, the citizens right now, but we can tell you that you look behind us and see all the resources that we have together. The, uh, all the uh, assets of the FBI and the uh, ATF are available to us uh, from the Houston division. So uh, we, we want the citizens to know that we're doing everything possible to make sure that uh, that this suspect or suspects are, are captured as soon as possible. But uh, we understand the concern, but we want them to call the police. Uh, if they see something, do not hesitate to call us. Uh, hey guys, we're gonna take two more questions from the chief. Two more questions. At this time, we have no information that they should be concerned about anything else. We are going to keep this uh, uh, crime scene open for a while. We are doing everything possible to make sure that our citizens are safe. As you can see, and I've talked about already, we've got the resources of the FBI and ATF uh, uh, working with us. So we're doing our we're doing our, our our best to make sure our citizens are safe. And we have no information that uh, that it's not unsafe at this time. Okay, this is the last question. Absolutely. We don't want our, our folks to panic. We want them to be vigilant. And, and anytime they see something suspicious, just to call us. Uh, it's that easy. Uh, this is going to be a long-term investigation. Uh, we're going to be here a while. We're going to do everything we can to make sure our citizens are safe. And the FBI and ATF is going to be right there with us step, step by step. Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, stay up to date with information by following the Beaumont Police Department's Facebook page and our Twitter page. We are working with the FBI and the ATF. Uh, they are sharing all that information. The information will be joint. We will all put out the same message. Uh, we will update you guys on any additional press conferences and we'll give you plenty of time through a press release and notification on social media when we do the next press conference.